You see it in pictures, but it's absolutely nothing like what you would imagine it to be. Well, I suppose there are some people interested in eclipses. A rare alignment of heavenly bodies. It was an unforgettable moment. A total eclipse of the sun. Everybody's heard the lessons about the moon goes in between the sun and the earth, and we know that, but when you see that happen for yourself, and there's no doubt in your mind that the moon's blocking out the sun, it's incredible. When I saw the corona for the first time, I'd heard it described a lot of ways, and I was like, oh my gosh, it looked more like the birth of a universe to me. When you have that reaction to it, the, the beauty of it, the realization of where you're at in the solar system, every human reacts to that. Solar eclipses are relatively rare, uh, and what I mean by that is about once every year and a half or every 18 months we get a total solar eclipse somewhere in the world. But the, the rare part of it is when they occur in specific locations. The last total solar eclipse that went coast to coast across the United States was 1918. So we're talking 99 years ago, if my math's right. <laughs> When totality occurs, it gets about as dark as, say, 20 minutes after sunset. Depending on where you're at, you'll see Jupiter, you'll see Venus, Mars, and Mercury. The animals, at least the ones that don't have internal clocks, they think that when totality occurs and it gets dark, the sun's going down. So birds are starting to come back to roost. Frogs, crickets, all of the creatures that start making noise towards sunset are going to start making noise right before totality. It's pretty common to think, you know, everything revolves around yourself. The Earth's the center of the universe, and yes, uh, humankind is in control of everything. <laughs> and. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to tell people that there's an eclipse coming and it won't be okay or anything like that. That's not where I'm going. I'm saying that when people see an eclipse, they'll realize that that eclipse is happening whether they want it to or not. People, when they see it, they will be in shock by it and it will affect them. It's there for two and a half minutes or so. I think everyone has this feeling about halfway through of is the sun coming back? 